Pepper Hosting, sponsor the video they have. Hello, my name is Andy. You've probably seen some pretty cool Minecraft townhouses and wondered how to build them. Here's a Minecraft townhouse building system. First of all, I'm going to start with a grid here. It's a rectangle 21 deep and 18 wide. I'm saying deep because I'm at the front here and it's going from front to back deep. And I've just lined it with some polished andesite for the store floor. So the first floor, the bottom floor is gonna be a shop or a store. And then above that, it's gonna be a townhouse residence. And that means it's gonna be three floors of one residency. First floor will be living room and kitchen and maybe a storeroom and a little powder room perhaps. And the next room up will be a couple of bedrooms, bathrooms, maybe a storeroom. And then the top floor will be a master bedroom suite and maybe a study. Okay, so how do we do this and how do we make a plan? Well, I'm gonna use some colored wool. I'm gonna break two blocks in the front middle and then stack up five bits of yellow on top of the green wool. So the green wool represents the foundations, the yellow wool represents the brick that's gonna go around the windows, and the blue wool, as you can see, is gonna be two four by four grids of blue wool. You might have guessed it, the blue wool is the shop windows. Now, round about the sides of these, I'm going to put some red wool, and the red wool represents the bricks or whatever you're going to be making your townhouse out of. So we're planning it in coloured wool, and then we're going to come back later on and replace these bricks with whatever we decide to make our townhouse out of. I'm building this townhouse in default. You might have a texture pack you might want to use, in which case you can choose anything to replace the red that you think is gonna make your townhouse look good. I'm gonna use brick, I think, later on to replace the red. So you can think about the red as brick, the yellow is some sort of sandstone, and the blue is just glass. Now, here with gaps of three in between each of these two wide yellow bits. These are going to be the bottoms of the windows, which are going to mark the first floor of our residency, our townhouse. It's not apartments on each floor, it's one big townhouse with internal staircases. A little bit of trim around the windows made of yellow wool. So the windows are three by two, three high and two wide, sitting above those little two bits of yellow. Again, these are the window surrounds. There could be stairs, there could be shutter kind of things, there could just be bricks at the sides of the windows. I think I'm probably gonna make the yellow out of sandstone, like I said. So here we go. Just fill in the gaps with red. And that means that the red is the main brick of your townhouse. So I'm placing these blocks in real time, no speeded up footage here, to give you a chance of catching up. You can even pause the video at this point. And the whole front elevation, the whole front of this townhouse, I'll make a picture of, and I'll put it the link in the description. You can click on that, open it in a browser, and you can see the front of the townhouse plan and count the blocks. Let's take a little pause here and look inside the townhouse and think about the floors and the ceiling heights and the the, the the walls really. So I'm going to use a dark blue brick here and what this represents is six high walls for the stores. The stores are going to be a little bit bigger in terms of headroom than the upper residency. The white wall there is representing the ceiling and then the wooden blocks. They're the floor of the residency, the first floor of our uh, townhouse. Now, I've stuck them out to the side there so we can see from the front and kind of help us to plan and know exactly where our floors are going to be. Five blocks high for our residency walls, then a ceiling, then another floor to get up to our first bedroom level. So if we spin the camera around, you can see these stick out the side so you get an idea as you build it where the floors are, where the ceilings are, and how high the walls are going to be. Six high walls I determined was quite good for the store, make it a bit bigger, a bit more spacious inside the store. And then five high is plenty high walls between the floor and ceiling for the residency. Then it's a question really of repeating exactly what I've done. So I'm gonna speed the footage up just a little bit here, give Yoda a little bit of uh, boosted speed. <laughs> and uh, there we go, it's the same exact pattern for the windows. 
filling in with red wool and planning out your townhouse like this is a good thing to do. Even if your townhouse isn't as wide as me, that's quite a wide townhouse I'm doing, 18 blocks wide, you could do one that's 12 wide, but if you plan it out in coloured wool, it helps you to not make any mistakes and to really plan the whole thing out um, before you go ahead and add the bricks. Because as you start to put the bricks in, you're gonna be making some changes and you don't want to have to make those changes. Uh, you wanna be able to get it right first time. It just saves a lot of time. Otherwise, it takes hours and hours and hours of going back over it and deleting and so on. Get your plan right to start with. That's the message in this video. So that floor there, as you can see, is separated by bricks of two. Two bricks of red between the windows. And that completes the front of our townhouse. Now, what we want to do is come round here. I've decided that this particular townhouse is not going to have um, any windows on the left hand side and the back. So the back of the townhouse is joining onto another house, or another townhouse, and the left hand side, which is on the right on this picture, uh, the left and the front is also going to be joining onto another townhouse. So we're only going to have windows in the side we're coming round to now. Big shout out to my sponsors, Pickle Hosting. If you want a good premium hosting for your Minecraft server or your web server, look out for picklehosting.com, picklehost.com, Pickle Hosting. They're fantastic. Use the code ANDYSYODA for 15% off, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just building up those walls, which are not going to have any windows in it. That could be different, depends on your particular townhouse. And I've put in the rest of the white wool and the wood. And we'll quick round awful fast. <laughs> and that's going to be the floors and the ceilings. Now, I'm going to put a bit of a hat around this. This is the fancy bit at the top of the townhouse. This is where you can have a bit of fun. You can copy me here or you can just kind of do your own little uh, surround. I'm using green wool to plan out the top of my townhouse. So giving it a little bit of a, a lip or a skirt all the way around. Then I'm going to build up two blocks on top of the red wool. Simple as. Two lines of green. And then for the fiddly bits I'm going to just count three of them in from the side, gap of one, one and one, gap of one in and one, gap, one, gap, one, gap, and in the, the middle two, I'm going to build up into kind of a little triangle or peak. So just kind of marking that out and planning kind of some fancy bits there. Now around the side as well, I'm just simply going to be building up the same structure. And it might, I don't think I catch this on camera, but I just put little dots in. You can see the dots are just alternate dots at the top there. We'll come to that detail in a minute and you'll get a second look at it, don't you worry. Now, time for the stairs. So we need a stairs that goes from the side entrance of this townhouse and the side entrance goes up the stairs into the residency. So we have come in by one block and then go up the stairs and I just destroy some of the ceiling and the next floor and that just leads my staircase very simply, block by block, up into the living room and kitchen area of this townhouse. I've taken off shaders so we can get a good look at exactly what I'm doing without it being too dark. Right, you need a wall here. Very important to have this wall to separate the stairs from the store. Otherwise, if you're in buying your books in the bookstore, you would see <laughs> the neighbours going up the stairs into their house. So that's no good at all. So stick in some wall. Again, I'm just using a nice bright color. Whoever comes to furnish your townhouse might change that into maybe some white or cream or something to represent a, an internal wall, but it's up to them. It's often good fun to let somebody else furnish what you've built as well. We often do that on the server. Okay, coming back up through the floor, we've got another wall here which goes nearly, well, goes all the way to the side of the build here. I'm just going to hack away a little bit more of the ceiling and the floor there. And I've left three blocks of wood um, just behind and above the staircase. Now you can see the gap. So I'm now deciding to build with invisible blocks. <laughs> a little bit of lag there. Server's catching up on the placement. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Those invisible blocks though. What I've made here is actually a little space above the staircase and that could be used for a little closet. 
Um, what I'm going to do now is just break some blocks. I'm leaving a gap of two, a very important gap of two, from the side of the build to the staircase. You come up the staircase and you've still got two blocks that you can stand on. So let's go back down through the floor and you can see the staircase coming down through. And this should end up, if you've done it exactly like I've done, two blocks away from the edge of the wall, these stair blocks should end up level with the end of the blue wall. And they do, which is great. So this is the staircase up to the first bedroom level. I think I've missed out two stairs on the bottom there. Do I ever get them? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll probably go and get them eventually. Now, if I tweak the camera around a little bit, you can see this little closet area I've got here. I'm actually, what I'm doing is adding on a few more bits of ceiling maybe and another bit of wood. But just in here, I've decided to disguise this by putting in this wall. So I'm replacing these ceiling blocks and the floor blocks with wall. So whoever comes to build that wall out of proper wall blocks has to build it like that. So you don't have any ceiling or wall blocks inside the main wall. As you can see, I've marked off a little closet with, under the stairs, which is quite useful, and they can carve out a little door into the side of that, and there's a little Yoda flying into the closet there. Okay, upstairs, we need another wall here to divide up. We need another staircase going up there and a wall coming round. So you will have on this level a little closet under the staircase, again, a little cupboard under the stairs, which you can access from quite a dark corner, as you can see the back dark corner. Um, because there's no windows in the other, the opposite wall to where I'm filming from and the right hand wall has no windows either so it's quite a dark corner and when you're planning your house you need to decide what you're going to be doing with that dark corner things like uh, walk-in wardrobes and little um, closets and cupboards and storage areas are quite good for the dark creepy corners of your house okay so this staircase leads up into the master bedroom area simple question of placing your stair blocks and then a little bit of a wall coming round like that and that just divides off the staircase and you bring that up five bricks high so there's four and one more makes five okay spinning the camera for absolutely no reason in the wrong direction we're going to fire back through the floor again and I'm going to seal off uh, some of these bricks floor bricks and ceiling bricks are actually in the wall as well probably do that in just a few seconds time Just having a look around here, just a few bits of planning. I haven't placed any blocks, don't worry. It's just me flying about making sure that everything is okay. Looks fine to me. So yeah, gonna replace those wall blocks there with blue. They should be blue. They were ceiling and they were uh, wooden floors. So it looks much better when you've got them being uh, wall blocks. Cool, so okay, so back round to the front of the house and then this, or the townhouse, and this is where we decide what bricks to use to actually replace all the red with. And I've gone for just simple brick. Simple brick townhouse. Up to you what you use. This is what I've chosen. So all they get replaced with brick. And then the blue is glass, like that. You could put glass in right from the very start, but I plan to I, I prefer to plan it out properly. So there we go. All the glass is replaced. Now the bottoms and the tops of the windows I'm simply replacing with um, stone, sorry, brick stairs the right way up. So And above the shop windows, the bricks are the wrong way up. They're upside down. Now I'm placing some smooth sandstone to the left and the right of the windows. And then I'm running this line of chiseled sandstone through the windows, kind of in a line, and I've put them on the side of the build as well. I guess you'll see that later on when I move the camera around. Some ordinary sandstone trim there just above the windows, and that adds just a little smidgen of detail, and some more ordinary sandstone above the shop store windows. Then some blocks of grass here. I decided though that it was quite a flat uh, townhouse. I decided to add some nice, big, chunky, um, window boxes, you can see slabs and stairs just framing the, the grass and then some wooden trapidoris maximuses and some plants. 
Time to turn our attention to the top of the build, and this is where we're going to replace some of these green blocks with, um, I think, some more sandstone would look very good at the top of the house. So this first layer here is going to be upside down sandstone stairs, and then just going to run around the build. These little blocks are going to be replaced with chiseled sandstone, and on top of the chiseled sandstone, I'm going to be putting on some upside down sandstone stairs. Now the double height wall of green behind there, I'm simply going to replace that with ordinary sandstone all the way along. And that just leaves the middle bit, which I'm going to put on some sandstone blocks and then some sandstone stairs. I'll move the camera a little bit so you can kind of see a better idea of what I'm doing. Just play with this don't make it exactly like mine if you don't want to. You just want to make it a bit of a fancy turret finish, architectural show off. Um, these are focal points that architects use to bring your eyes up to the top of the build and to make sure you appreciate the full beauty of the build. So that's the, the kind of the architectural reason behind them, these little focus or focal points. Again, upside down sandstone stairs along the side of the build and then chiseled sandstone blocks and then stairs above them. I was pretty happy how this looked at this stage, and I just needed to replace the green back here with normal sandstone. Then I decided it wasn't 100% brilliant, and I thought some judicial placement of slabs, some clever placement of slabs, I should say, was going to really emphasize it. Here's a spin round. As you can see, I've taken the chiseled sandstone in stripes through the wall, and that'll be nice when you come to furnish it on the inside. It'll look pretty cool. Okay, so back to these, uh, back to grab some slabs. I'm just going to fill in some slabs along the top. So every little gap and the corners gets the slab treatment. Spin the camera like a madman and then round we go with some more slabs. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to bring the slabs out even more. So by just doing this, it really creates kind of a regal, impressive, rich feel to the top of the build by adding some more slabs sticking out the top there. Of course, it's blocked our focal point, so I destroyed some of those slabs and then just brought the focal point out by one more block using some more stairs just to bring it out and really stick it out and overlap it over the front of the townhouse. And then one more slab, there we go, finishes that off. Need some slabs to go around the side and we are a done deal with the top of the townhouse. So what remains now is the side and the side windows. Now the side windows or the back windows. By the way, if you're going to do the back of the townhouse, I suggest you make it exactly the same as the front of the townhouse. You may need to adjust where your staircase goes. And if you're doing the side like I'm doing now, plan your layouts. That's the secret. Plan the layouts of the rooms before you put the windows in because you don't want the windows being exactly where you want a wall. Now, the store is pretty simple. I want two big windows. Of course, you're kind of trying to show off all your goods that you're selling in the store. So what I've got is simply gaps of three uh, bricks and then two windows, each window being three wide. Little gap for the door into the residency, the actual place where people live, and then see th gaps of three between the windows. Not so important where these are placed. You could even determine this by the layout of your store as well. Might determine what sort of windows or no windows if you want in the side of the store. Depends on what kind of shop you've got there. Cool. I put some upside down bricks on top of them just to add a little touch of detail. Of course, you could add a lot more detail to your townhouse if you like. I added some more chiseled, uh, sorry, smooth sandstone there. I'm not sure I agree with that extra block of sandstone there, but. I did it. I did it. Okay, so moving gradually up the build here, we've got to get some more windows done. So this first level in townhouse, I suggest, is going to be a living room, dining room, and kitchen level. Very open plan. Um, so it doesn't matter too much where the windows are, but we'll zoom in a little bit, hopefully now, and have a look at what the layout could be in this first level of where people live. So I'm thinking um, has to be somewhere where you would uh, eat and just chill out and relax. And of course, it's going to have a staircase at some point going through this or visible. Um, right now, the staircase is very visible. You can see it. 
going to run this chisel, these chisel blocks through as a stripe coming through the build. And then my windows, I'm just going to replace, I'm going to place the windows pretty much anywhere because I'm leaving this whole area here very, very open plan. Um, so probably the living room is going to be in this corner. I'd put me put the kitchen, maybe some larders towards the back corner. Certainly the back dark right hand corner would be good if it was some sort of food store, a larder, maybe a little uh, toilet. Yeah, a little toilet in the back right. A, toilet, a half bathroom is what they should call it. A half bathroom in the back right because that doesn't need any natural light. You just have to have a fan and a light come on every time you go into that little room. But it makes good use of that those dark corners which you might get depending on your plot that you've been given by um, whoever owns your district. Okay, so there's windows going in, and the windows are simply uh, stone bricks, uh, sorry, brick stairs, the right way up, top and bottom, and then smooth sandstone on left and right. Okay, so this floor here, a bit more interesting. I'm actually gonna lay this one out. I want two bedrooms in this, and you can see I was a little bit hesitant to start. I had to really think exactly what I was gonna be doing here. I want two bedrooms, so I think, that line I think I end up changing. Yeah, and then that became too narrow there, so yeah, gotta scrap that idea. So what I'm gonna do here is put a bedroom on the back left corner, and then just right in the front left of the screen here is gonna be another bedroom. Um, so there we go, we've divided off the two bedrooms and they've both got windows at the front of the build. Then in the back corner we can go for a little storeroom or a little study and right there in the middle is going to be the bathroom. So there we go. So as you see at the left hand side, the bottom left is a, there's a, bath, a bedroom, bottom right is a bedroom. In the middle there is a little bathroom and it even gives us room for a teeny tiny little st uh, staircase, kind of a staircase hallway that wraps round. So that determines where my windows go. My windows are gonna go in the bedroom and they're gonna go in the staircase as well. So since these windows are exactly the same as the ones below, albeit um, the staircase one is in a slightly different place, which lends a bit of interest to the build as well. Uh, windows not opposite or above each other. Those windows are exactly the same design, so I'll speed up the footage there. Right, that brings us on to a really nice part to plan out, the master bedroom suite at the top of the townhouse. Again, we've got a dark corner on the back right-hand side there, so that's going to be a walk-in wardrobe doesn't need any natural light. In fact, you don't want your clothes having any natural light which could damage the fabric. So that's quite that's quite uh, a good reason for keeping it nice and dark. So back left is a bathroom, bottom left is a bedroom, and on the right there at the front here, you've got a little study. And again, we can speed this up. It's just the same kind of windows as we had below. A uh, staircase window and a bedroom window. And there also above the ones below, which is quite aesthetically pleasing as well. And that means we're nearly finished our townhouse. If you're following along so far, well done. Just got to put on a ceiling and a bit of a roof. Of course, I haven't built up my walls. I've just marked them out in blue. Whoever's going to be furnishing this, I've left them to build the walls out of whatever brick they choose. So I've put on some wool for a ceiling, I'm adding some more sandstone around the top and then filling it in with gravel, and then slapping down a few details on the top, like air vents made of andesite and railways, <laughs> and then some little um, tubes coming out the top, little chimneys, could be little vacuum tubes for the bathrooms, for example, when you flush a toilet, the air's gonna come in to replace uh, the space vacated by the water that uses the flush, so you need these little tubes coming out your builds in certain places, and that is the townhouse built. What do you think, guys? Alrighty, that's the tutorial finished. I'm going to show you a townhouse very similar that I placed into my world. Okay, this is using a texture pack, but it's very similar blocks to uh, default anyway. And you can see that um, in this particular townhouse, I have uh, windows on that side. So that uh, actually determined my layout. <laughs> There's an awful lot of ivy there, I just noticed. Um, I've also moved the stairs up in this one here. You can see the stairs are on that level. So if we have a look up and into this townhouse, 
um, I've planned it out to have a little bathroom under the stairs, like this one, uh, a little storeroom there, and then into a kitchen, a dining room, and a little TV on the wall. In other words, uh, a living room there. So the stairs are in a slightly different place here as because of the, the slope and the ground, but we're coming up to a study or kids play area, a bedroom, We've got a shared bathroom, it's called the Jack and Joe bathroom, as an architect would call it, and then another bedroom, and then we're up to more stairs, and then we can link into a study, and then the master bedroom suite up here, which has got the bed, round to a bathroom, and then uh, what is a dark corner on our house is got a, a, a window in it this time, and this is gonna be a, a walk-in uh, closet. Something else I did in this townhouse was to add another staircase in, um, to put on a very luxurious pool and a barbecue on the top. But the planning was exactly the same. Depending on the width and the breadth and the height, you can use my planning system with the coloured wool to plan out your townhouses and eventually you could be building things like this with little turrets on them. There's all sorts of amazing designs. I think I'm crashing into a tree. Even modern. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing in there. It's snuck in. Um, you can put as much detail on as you want, but hopefully this has given you some inspiration for building townhouses. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Andy's Yoda, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. May the vlogs be with you.